Welcome back to part four. All right, so we're gonna go into uh, the snowy part, which is gonna make us super freaking cold. All right, so we're gonna have to. So I don't know if you see it, but it says it's like right next to the hearts, and it's basically like, um, like I don't know. It makes us re uh, resistant to the cold. So we're not going to be cold all the time. Um, but do note that there is a timer at the top left corner. And that will tell us um, how much time we have in the cold. Uh, but if you have multiple... Um, if, if you have multiple uh, food that will allow you to stay in the cold, then you'll be fine. Just depending on how long you are in the cold for depends on you... So we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I cooked. How many did I cook? I cooked four, so we should be good. So that gives us a good 20 minutes. So, and I plan to get uh, get a shrine done each episode. So that's just uh, that's just kind of like a little goal I set for myself kill these guys because they're gonna not be good for you all right so a little uh, little story for me um, when I was a kid my first my first Zelda game was Ocarina of Time um, I actually really like I really enjoyed that game um, I don't there were a couple things in the game that kind of annoyed me. <coughs> oh, the Navi. <coughs> I think that annoyed everybody. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about that. Yeah, so if you're too close, uh, when you kill these, uh, these ice choo-choo jellies, uh, they will, um, they will blow up and they'll freeze you. Uh, same thing with fire and everything else, so try to hit them with your arrows. Or you can actually just back up and then they will run out of, uh, either their, uh, they're, uh, I'm a lost for words here, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, they'll run out of their cold, I guess. There we go, and there we go. Alright, let's go over here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Ocarina of Time was my first Zelda game, and I think I played it when I was like, oh gosh. I can't even remember. I played it when I was like, I don't know, four, five, something like that. But when I got older, I started playing it again. Um, I actually just played it recently on the DS. Um, I don't see, I mean, I can see why people like it so much, but I don't understand how people say that it's a masterpiece. I mean, there are, there's quite a few flaws in the game. I, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I mean, I really like it. Um, uh, I mean, it's always going to be a part of my childhood, but I don't see where, uh, it's a masterpiece. I mean, there's, I, I don't know. I don't know. If you, if somebody can explain it to me and actually have a legitimate reason why it would be a masterpiece, please do, because I don't have any idea why it would be um i can see why it'd be good it's a good game um i could see however this game being a masterpiece but i mean obviously it's just an opinion uh, da, da, da. okay so i got two minutes ten seconds but i do see how that saying a game uh, is a masterpiece. It, it, anything can be a masterpiece, really. To depends to the person, I think. Um, this this game to me, I don't I don't really know yet what I how I feel about this game, just because it's so different from just all the other Zeldas. I I, I, I really don't know what I feel about this game. Um, I know I like it. I know I don't think it's crap. Um, 
which there's people out there who think this game is just a load of bullcrap, which I think is also a load of bullcrap. Um, th there's just some crazy things I've heard. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna kill these guys here. Yep. All right, we gotta pick up that Boko Club. Boko Club. Cause we're gonna die. Oh gosh, they're throwing rocks. So I watched the uh, the making of Breath of the Wild, and these guys are pretty fucking intricate. The way they're designed, they like oh my gosh, these are probably like the really smart AIs, really. And I'm doing horrible to hit that, and there was nothing inside of it. Great, great, great. All right, head up here. So the Kenemutsu Shrine? I don't know how to pronounce these freaking things. Alright. Uh, let me take a look at my thing here. Um, I believe... Okay, yeah, I think up there. So we're gonna head into here. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, so we just got this thing. So... Yeah, this is definitely going to help us get through the level. Um, what was I saying? Um, saying something. Uh, this, man, I don't know. There's some easy dungeons. Oop. Yeah, these guys are kind of tricky to kill. If you can get them, if you can get them... Ah, uh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, let's just kill him. Yeah, you can you can reflect your shield at him, too. Uh, just like the regular Guardians. But uh, it's a little more trickier. Alright, let's see. So we're going to have to go do right there. That's going to lift that up. And then we're going to head over to the other side. And we're going to jump up there. And then boo doop and then I think that's the end of the dungeon. Yeah. But if you want, if you want to, you can jump over here and grab this chest. I highly suggest getting these chests. They really do help uh, trying to get stuff. Yeah, Traveler's Spear. Alright, cool. Yeah, because your weapons will break in the beginning so freaking quick. It's ridiculous. Alright, go back up here. Go back over here. I might do a video on what I think about Ocarina of Time. I don't know. I'll probably get a lot of hate for it. Actually, I, I, I probably yeah, I will get a lot of hate for it. There, there's no if or maybe it's anything I have to say or any video that I make will probably get hated for something. I don't really know. It's just dumb. Alright, so we're going to have to use our next food here, because we're going to run out. Actually, we already did run out, being in the shrine. So we're going to head down here without getting hurt. And then we're going to go up over to... Let's try to head up there. And when we get up there, we're going to get... I believe it's that mountain, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might just be a dummy head. I don't know. A dumb idiot. Uh, gosh, Link. We gotta upgrade your stamina. I always do... I always do hearts first. Just... Just because of how quickly you die in this game. Okay. Here we go. There's not much to talk about when you're walking. Your vocal club is badly damaged. Well, shit. We're going to have to get another one, aren't we? Well, shit. Oh, God. All right. We're going to have to head up here. Head up here. So if you like Skyrim and you don't like this game, there is something wrong with you. I don't... I, 
there was something I read. I can't remember what the hell it was. But, uh, the guy was just like, um, oh, there's, uh, this game's just copying Skyrim. Uh, actually, Zelda started Skyrim. Alright, so we're gonna talk to this guy, and he's gonna give us the warm doublet. Alright. Breathtaking. Use your scope to look for shrines when you locate one. Place a pin. Alright. Yep. Alright, so now we don't have to worry about cold. Now we don't gotta worry about cold. So now we can go anywhere. Alright. And next up, we are going to... Where is it? It's over here. It's over this way. Hold on, let me check my map. It's right here. There it is. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breath of the Wild. The...